What's going on, everybody? It's Super Nintendo 7 because we're episode 33 of our Pokemon Ultra Moon Randomizer Nights of the Lock. And the last episode, guys, we finally made it all the way through Aether. We got our shit absolutely pushed in. So we did have to have, uh, I would say, a grinding montage, but your boy's stupid and forgot to hit record. So apologies for no grinding montage, but we do have a bunch of new members on the team. And if you're stupid, just have to make sure that motherfucker like them. Before we begin, we must always do a speedy, quick, Team recap. First up, the big yellow panic button himself. Who the fuck needs megas? Matt Loxus, our calm natured Amphros. Holding the quick clocks, he ain't too quick. Also rocking discharge, magma storm, thunder wave, and power gem. Next up, we have Elsa. Let it go! Let it go! Our docile natured Frostlass. Holding up my ice power up, that ice beam, and newly learned Blizzard. Also rocking Shadow Ball and Willow Wisp. I want to point something out. Um, look at that attack stat compared to that special attack stat. Why the fuck does Zelda learn so many special uh, special moves and hardly any good physical moves for Ice and Ghosts? It, it makes me sad. But anyway, rant aside, we have Poly Swag, our docile Poly Wrath, Rock and Power Punch, Pebble Beam, Play Rough, and Hypnosis. Hold that fight, MZ. Next up, one of the new members on the squad, we have Hiccup, our mild-natured Dragonair, rocking Aqua Tail Slam, Agility, and Dragon Tail. I am so glad that uh, Dragonite can be ran either way. You can have a special Dragonite or you can have a physical Dragonite. I am so glad that you can run them either way because it, I would rather have an adamant Dragonite because he learns more physical moves than special moves, but we do get special moves with Dragonite, so we're, we should be good. Also, the I don't know how much of a difference the attack attack sex will be when Hiccup evolves. I'm praying it's not too big of a difference. Next up on the squad, we have Greywater, our timid nature. You hate to see it, timid nature. Uh, Muck, Rock and Venom Drench, Gunk Shot, Sludge Wave, and uh, Screech. I don't know why I skipped over Screech. Last but certainly not least, we have RuPaul, our hasty natured Gardevoir. Rock and Future Sight, Psychic, Drain Kiss, and Calm Mind. I'm actually going to move some of these moves around. Actually, that can stay. Uh, put, put Gum Shot here. Put... I don't know why I did that. Okay. And then put this here. Put this here. Awesome. So, um, also, I need to... I think I, I think I can get a new encounter this episode. I know we can get a few of them. But I think I accidentally stumbled upon a place where I can just waltz right in and uh, get a new encounter right out the bat. Which is here, Pony Beach. Can I surf? Can I surf on Pony Beach, please? Can I? I don't think I can. No, Pony Beach, you cannot get an encounter, it looks like unfortunately so really hoping we could really hoping we could but we might be able to go around uh, at some point to pony beach but that's on a later date that's a later date um let's see we're just gonna zip past all these guys let me actually pop a wait i don't have max Pell, do i i don't have a max Pell, do i i do not well shit. oh well i'll just walk lower my chances because if you didn't know, running uh, increases your chances because Pokemon hear your loud ass footsteps. The same with trainers. If you run past them, they're more likely, at least in older gens, if you run past a trainer, they're more likely to turn around because they can hear you. Uh, but in, I think after 6th uh, gen, they don't. I could be wrong. I know for a fact in 7th gen, they don't. Take that sticker. I know after 7th gen, they don't. But, um, oh, what? Oh, it's back door. Hello. I have infiltrated your house. I am leaving now. Goodbye. Uh, let's see. There's an item down there I want. We did already get our encounter here, so we don't have to worry about that. I already said I got my encounter here. No way. Oh, we could have had a Raichu. That would have been sick, though. That would have been sick if we could have gotten a Raichu. But we got Loxus, so who needs Raichu? Couldn't get away. Bullshit, let me leave. Bullshit, let me leave. No, I'm about to kill you. You're easy XP. You can't touch Loxus, but Loxus can touch you. That does not sound right. Loxus gonna beat your ass. 
Fox is gonna kick the shit out of you. Move, bitch. Out of my way, bitch. Let me waste two power gems on the likes of you. What the hell? Sorry about that. Motherfuckers only want to call me whenever I'm recording. Adrenaline orb. They're literally useless. Get through this grass. So now, I think we gotta go through here. Oh, there's TM there. I want. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Uh, how do I get over there? That's bullshit. Let me over there. Oh, ooh. Pony, Pony, Breaker Coast? Hang on. Okay, I think no matter what, I'm going to fight that guy. I think no matter what... Yep, I can get by him. Cool. Stop running into me. I don't care. I don't care. Leave me be. <laughs> Leave me be. Go away. Go away. So now we circle up here. Gonna take this sticker. What's up here though? Up here. Hey. Sure, you can go through here when you're a champion. That you sack of garbage. You sack of shit. All right, I got. So that is where I know where that is. That's where we're gonna find um all right pony breaker coast i know we can get encounters here though i know for a fact we can get encounters here so let me get to a fresh new page in the book pony breaker coast let's see what we can't get here there goes a wind pod which is fine we're just gonna cast our line here. That's the same. You bitch. Actually, I'm just gonna surf. Fuck, fuck fishing. I'm a surf. Fuck fishing. I'm a surf. What the fuck? That thing came zooming for me. Bro. I know I haven't caught no hop yet. So this is just my encounter. Oh, I forgot to turn moves back on. Whoop. Um. We're on discharge. Because of grass. Yep. Alright, quick wipe. We're gonna go to. Do I not have any. I'm about to say, do I not have any Ultra Balls? That's gonna suck. I'd say I need to rectify that real fucking quick. So that's one, two, three. Are you kidding me, man? Just stay in the ball. All right, we're gonna Ultra Ball again. If it doesn't stay in, I'm gonna discharge because then I know it'll live. One, two, three. Good. Good, good, good. Jump. Dope. So now, no, I don't want to give it any claim. Send it to the box. Now, first things first, I need to real quick turn battle animations back on. I don't know how I didn't realize that I didn't have them on before, but I didn't. That's my apologies. Um, so now we just gotta make our way over here. Ruins of Hope. I really like this area because it's Tapu Fini and Tapu Fini is my favorite Tapu. I really like this area because it's like there used to be water here and you can tell it. The Ruins of Hope. What is this place? The air feels so oppressive. But but if we go in there, maybe Nebi will return to normal. The people believe that the guardian deity of these ruins, Tapu Fini, can wash away any impurities with this mystic water. That sounds promising. That's right, it does, Nub. I'm going to give it all my all so that we can return Nebby back to normal. Just you wait, Nebby. It's time. This time, I'm gonna be the one who saves you. Come on, Nub. Let's go. All right. This is where we find out that about the 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 Kahuna. If we're going to break break a path, we'll need to move these huge rocks. 
That's what Hapu's grandmother said, isn't it? <laughs> Tried to move it. Hey, I don't think you're gonna move it. I don't think I can do this. It, it's heavier than words can even express. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna be able to do that. We'll have to borrow my champ's formidable strength for this task. I read about it once in a book, if I remember right. It said, when going to ride from a power from a champ, trainers can activate my champ's shove by standing before a rock and pressing B. If we find ourselves getting frustrated, we should probably remember to step outside again for a bit of pers perspective. That means if you fuck up, uh, go outside and to reset the puzzle. I like how it's the music for fucking Tauros still, with, but with Machamp. So we move this rock there. We move this rock here. And now we walk around and we shove this rock into this hole. The square rock goes into the square hole. If it were round, it would go in, you guessed it, the square hole. So now... It's, uh, it's, uh, it's Tapu. I've read about them, you know? Although the sacred ruins and the guardian deities worshipped within them, they go wherever they want, so it's not easy to meet them according to the, the books I've read. But if they are summoned here at the ruins, they do sometimes appear. The books say that that they are, well, capricious. Capricious? Is that what? Cap, capricious? I don't know. Encounters them, encounters with them do not always end as you hope they will. Maybe that explains why even coming here to these ruins hasn't evoked any response from Nevi. Oh, there's Hapu. Hop, why did I call her Tapu? Her name's Hapu. Oh. Oh. Hey yo. Hey yo, Hapu, you good? Look at it. Ooh. Yeah, bitch. I, g I give my thanks for your great blessing. As Kahuna, I will do my best for the people and the Pokemon of Alola. Is she the youngest Kahuna? Like, because all the other Kahunas we've seen are adults. Is she the youngest Kahuna? Oh, so you two were watching. Yeah? We, you told us to come here. The Kahunas are chosen by the Pokemon we worship here in Alola, our sacred guardians. They are chosen from among the people living on the island each guardian watches over. Lily told me you, you're pretty new to our part, eh, Nub? You came to Alola from far off. You must be really, you must really be something then. I heard how you were given a sparkling stone by the Tapu, even as a stranger to our shores. My grandfather. My grandfather was also chosen by this honor, the honor of being our island's kahuna. But he died suddenly some years back, and we were left without a kahuna on pony. I tried to follow in his footsteps, but I was not chosen by the Tapu back then. So I set on my own short island challenge, traveling a little and trying to grow stronger. Lily, the kahuna you wish to meet is right here. Oh, oh, of course. Then please, Kahuna Hapu, tell me about the legendary Pokemon. So you want to know about Lunala, who we pray tribute to at the altar of the moon? I must go after my mother. She disappeared off into some far off world, and a fearsome creature lives in that world, a Pokemon called Necrozma. That's why I want to ask a legendary Pokemon for its help. The legendary Pokemon is the only one who can go back and forth between worlds. A world where beasts reside, eh? I reckon that must be the kind of world you find at the other end of those holes that open up in the sky. This is my grandfather once described. Alright, I will tell you what I know. Oh, thank you, Hapu. But what I know is not much. Just that there is a ceremony held for legendary Pokemon at the altar. A ceremony that uses two particular flutes to somehow give the legendary Pokemon power. This is this is the sun flute. It seems that my mother had it. Oh, that looks to be the flute that used to reside at the Lake Olu on Ula Ula. The other is said to be held on Executor Island. I do not know where all these places, but it has been passed down that that's where it belongs. Executor Island. I think I've heard about it before. It's an uninhabited island off the coast of Pony. Isn't that right? Yes, and no 
reason to dally here. Let's go to speak with Mina. Nelly, you take Mudsdale. We proceed to see Folk Village. Dope. Okay. Now we've we've met the Kahuna. So now I know she, we gotta talk to Mina. I think we gotta do her trial before we can set out. So let's see. We need to fly. We just need to go back here. No sense in going on foot. Might as well just take charge. Of it. So now we made it back. Oh, here we are. Hey yo, what's good? Thank you, Hapu, and thank you, Mudsdale. That was, that's what friends do. Friends. An amazing trainer like Hapu considers me a friend. I'm so glad I got to meet you, Hapu. Likewise. The journey to Executor Island, you should speak with Mina. She can help arrange a boat for you. I shall be wishing for your safety. Wrong. All right, so now we gotta find Mina. Oh, didn't have to. Didn't have to search far. Did not have to search far. Did you find, like, anything useful? Yes, and Hapu has made the new kahuna. Little Hapu was? We've been having old man Nanu look after our grand trials up until now. <laughs> Now that you've got our own little kahuna, that's great. Yes, Hapu will do her best for her late grandfather, as I must do my best for my mother's sake and for Nevi as well. A and so, there's a place that we need to go. Executor Island. Executor Island? Oh, where the flute is, right. Well, in that case, we'd better get the chief. Did you call me? Ha <laughs> ha, I drew him on top of a roof of a boat. Oh my goodness! Why are you so surprised? Everyone's on top of boats here, apparently. Nice to meet you. I'm the chief of the Sea Folk. I couldn't help overhearing what you said. So why don't I get you to Executor Island? Oh, thank you. Hold up there, little lady. It's Nub who will go on this trip. He is a trainer after all. Like, an Executor Island is a pretty crazy place. Haha, <laughs> that's true. There are some crazy critters on that island. It's one thing for a trainer to go, but if you're not a trainer, you should just trust your friend to take care of this task for you. But, Nub, I got this. You're right. I'm sure you and Ampharos can handle it better than anyone else could. I'll wait here for your comeback. Um, and while you're waiting for Nub, and while and while we're waiting for Nub, I'll like make you model for a picture, Lily. Really. All right, let's get the fuck going. In the little magic carp boat. Hell yes. We're here. Executor Island. And with this, we get another encounter. Executor Island. And there's the moon flute. I remember when in, I think in Sun and Moon, there were just Executor dancing everywhere. Oh, never mind. I spoke, I stand incorrect. There are Executor dancing everywhere here. All right. So the question is, do I go for tall grass or do I go for Executor? Ha! Here we are at Executor Island. I heard that this place used to be a trial site, though that was a long time ago now. Look at all the fellows are even more worked up than usual. Yeah, but they're always a noisy bunch. It's probably fine. You go on. Good luck. All right. So, I think I'm just gonna touch on. I think I'm just gonna click on the executor. Click on that Pokemon executor. It's acting a bit odd. Walk. All right. So. Are you kidding me, dude? Normally, I'm just like, oh, dope, a decently physical grass type. Problem is, 
this thing don't get shit. The, the, the elemental monkeys don't learn a goddamn thing. All their moves, you keep them in their pre-evolution forms, and they don't learn any good moves until like 53. So, I discharge. It's gonna discharge again. All right, we're in the red. So now, we're just gonna use an Ultra Ball. Oh, that was a crit cap. Then ball. Yeah. Semi Sage was caught. And we can. I doubt that the movie learner is before post game, but if it is, by any stretch of luck, we can uh, have him learn some moves. Um, we're gonna call you. We're gonna call you Wukong. We have Wukong. Central box. The Excusor is waving its head around happily now that the pin pincer was chased off. That was not a pincer. Do I have to, like, do that with all of them? Hopefully not. Yeah, I can just avoid them. There's a cave here. Is there anything around the side here that I can scoop up? Maybe. Yep, there's an item here. A revive. That's money. That's all that is, is money. Let me throw, let me throw. Let me throw! Okay, exit. Okay, so Toros cannot go through there, which is fine. I want to do this by foot anyway. Can I. What? How. How get up here? How do. Oh, I found a big pearl. Apparently this is a hidden item here. How get up here? How do? Or did I literally just like miss something? No? How do? How do? Or do I actually have to fight all those executor? Maybe I actually have to... Maybe I actually do have to fight all those pincer... pincer. Maybe that's what I actually have to do. I could have had Mega Altaria. Are you kidding me, bro? I could have had one of the most busted Megas in the game. I could have had one of the best typings in the game. The only Dragon Fairy. I could have had this. This could have been my encounter. This could have been my encounter. Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Are you fucking kidding me, bro? Oh my god. Dragon Pulse. Okay, good. He's gonna use Gunk Shot. This should be super effective because it's very epic. Hit it. Yep. And it's gone. Good. Oh my god. I am mad. I got a Semi Sage as my encounter, and I could have had Mega Altaria. I don't even want to check on the third one, man. I don't even want to check on the third one, dude. I don't even want to check on the third one. And a fracture. Alright. RuPaul is going to put in some work here. RuPaul is going to put in some work. I'm actually upset. I'm actually upset. I could have had Mega Altaria as my encounter and I got Semi Sage. I would have been happy with a fracture over Semi Sage. Dragon Dance? Oh no. Oh no. We are going to Draining Kiss. You fell for the taunt, but that's fine because it should Oko. Yep, it does. That was a crit, too. Jesus. RuPaul kissed the shit out of that fracture. Alright. 
I helped all three. Maybe now I can... Maybe they'll make a little path for me. Yep. That's exactly what they're doing. They're helping me out. That The one with the Mega Altaria is helping me out. Alright, so I go over to... Click on him. I'm just gonna shimmy up his neck. Let's do what? Thanks. What is behind these rocks? Oh, it's a totem sticker. I didn't even see it. Is there any other things up here I can break? Nope. Let's see. Any item up here? Nope. Scooping up the flute. The flute is placed on a very old pedestal. Will you take the flute? Yes. Obtained the moon flute. Oh, it stopped raining. That's odd. Damn sure it's nothing. I'm sure it's nothing. Welcome back, Nub. Now you've got, like, to play those flutes up at the altar, I guess. The altar can be found in the deepest part of the vast Pony Canyon. Those executors sure took a liking to you. You've clearly got something important in you as a trainer if Pokemon like you that much. Pelipper agrees. Alright, so we gotta go up to Pony Canyon, but I think right there is a good enough spot as any to wrap up today's episode. Next episode, we'll be headed to Pony Canyon to attempt uh, to activate the altar to get Lunala. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Well, thank you for the video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Subscribe to host here. It's me as a whole. i see you guys in the next video. See ya. Take bars, little man.